but here's our completed build guys and what do you think? I think it's come out alright don't you? So this is the case is the MSI Magforge M100R and this is actually a really nice case uh, we have actually featured this on the channel um, and I'll link in the top right hand corner the sort of unboxing video that we did for this case it's a really really lovely case free 120 millimeter ARGB fans at the front and you do have the one at the back as well the 120 millimeter one at the back so four ARGB fans pre-installed as well in this case this cost me £45 so it's a, it's, it's a good value you get the tempered glass which is here but it's obviously you can't see it <laughs> it's, it's, it's just in there but I'll, I'll put it on when I obviously sell it you get the front mesh which is obviously really nice to have in a modern PC case um, I know some people do prefer the glass but I do think the mesh is a little bit better obviously in terms of airflow uh, we, we want the airflow there uh, one of the little gripes I have the PSU shroud doesn't have a full um, doesn't have a full shroud it has one of those silly cutout windows for your power supply and we have used quite a small power supply as well it's only 140 millimeters uh, in length so it doesn't quite fill up the whole it doesn't fill up the whole window if you can see there so that's not very good but again minor little thing uh, this is not really a problem and in the back I've actually got the back panel on at the moment so I can't show you but there is a six port ARGB fan hub in there so if you do have two more ARGB fans you can connect them up to that hub so it all syncs up together which is really good really, really that's really really cool actually I think so if you do have one of those ARGB CPU coolers like those cheap thermal right ones you can actually link it all up all together so the, the fans and the whole colors all sync up which is really good and there's a little LED button at the front here just there so you can cycle through your colors which is which is really nice and there's loads of cable management room in the back as well I literally put this together haven't really done any cable management on it and then just plop the uh, back panel on first time no problems just slipped on easy so a really really nice build I've used this case uh, this is the second time I've used this case now and I certainly will be using this case again 45 pounds a nice flip case really little bit more expensive than you'd want for a, a for sort of a budget build but 45 pounds is still not a bad price considering you do get so many features like I say the integrated fan hub which is really really nice to see you also have I didn't mention there's a fan splitter so all four fans can actually be run off one fan header on your motherboard uh, this one's run at the one right at the bottom there so if you do have a motherboard that only has one uh, CPU fan as well as one, one system fan uh, system fan header then you can use this case as well so don't worry if your uh, motherboard doesn't have multiple headers you will be able to use this case as long as you use that fan splitter which is included with the case that's really nice as well MSI really have done a good job here and I will say you know props to them they've done a really great job with this case and yeah I, I'm really happy with it so let's talk over the build um, and what, what I have done as well the previous video I did was the GTX 1080 in 2024 which is actually using this system and the GTX 1080 is in here so if you want to see the benchmark results for all the, for this PC please go back and see that video but we'll just talk over the components and then we'll end the video so our CPU is the Ryzen 5 2600 just a stock cooler on that again we're, we're going for a very budget build here it's about 250 about 250 pounds in cost that we have put into this and we're going to try and sell it anywhere from hopefully about 400 but if we have to come down to 350 I'll take 350 for it but that's not a nice little you know it's a nice little profit margin there if we can get that and I do think with our GTX 1080 we'll, we could get that but anyway like I say Ryzen 5 2600 6 core 12 thread 16 gigabytes of RAM Corsair Vengeance LPX uh, 2 by 8 gigabyte kit and I put them in slots 2 and slots 4 for the XMP obviously so we can get the 3200 megahertz so that's nice we do have a MSI B450 Pro VDH Max motherboard I think that's exactly what it was called I'll put it below if not but yeah that's a really nice micro ATX motherboard and that's just a solid build again we've gone MSI with this build a little bit obviously there's a Corsair power supply but I tried to go motherboard and case 
uh, for for MSI. So yeah, um, if you can, you know, I would I would recommend trying to keep your parts your manufacturers fairly the same if you can. I think ideally I would like to go on a MSI power supply as well, but oh well, it doesn't really matter too much. Corsair's fine, isn't it? Um, and then obviously the star of the show is the GTX 1080. This is our gigabyte one. Again, if I could have got an MSI one, that would be even better, but beggars can't be choosers. So uh, this is the one we've ended up with. It's like the game in G1 or something, I've forgotten. But again, I'll put it below. And then just to round off our, um, oh, actually there's a silicon power 512 gigabyte SSD or NVMe, which is just really below the graphics card as well. So you can't see that. But again, 512 is 512 gigabytes is kind of standard nowadays for a budget build, so I'm fairly happy with that. Um, and then rounding it all off is our Corsair CX550 power supply. Pretty much okay for a 1080. Uh, you, you need about 500 watt power supply for a 1080, so you do need a little bit more juice there for the 1080, but 550 watts is enough for us. It, it, it's, it's enough to get us through, and I have tested it, and it seems to be quite reliable and seems to be holding up fine when I did a heaven benchmark stress test so I think overall I'm fairly happy it is quite sort of all black build and obviously the RGB fans kind of make it a bit better but I do think it kind of all looks quite nice actually the motherboard is kind of a little bit on the brownie side but you can't really tell when it's in that black case it kind of mesh it kind of all works together I think and actually looks quite all right I think ideally if I was to spend a little bit more money on it, I would actually upgrade the CPU cooler and get one of those tower coolers. I think that'd be nice. But again, that's just a little bit extra money that I didn't really want to spend. So again, for budget builds, I really do like to keep my costs absolutely as low as I possibly can. And I do think for £250 here, we have got a real bargain considering we do have a GTX 1080. I mean, that's the star of the show. And obviously that's going to be the big thing that I'm really going to highlight in this uh, ad when I do list this uh, PC, the GTX 1080, I'm really gonna push, because uh, I do think 350 to 400 pounds is certainly worth it for this PC. You know, this is actually gonna perform pretty well. Six cores, 12 thread CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4, and the big 1080. So you're gonna get some performance here, guys. This is not a slow PC, so. So yeah, just to round off, I think we've done a nice little build here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, do you think I've done all right for 250 quid? Because I certainly think I have. Uh, what would you change? What would you do differently? Um, comment below on maybe crit 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 uh, critique in my build if you really want. I'm, I'm happy with a little bit of constructive criticism. That's never a bad thing. As long as it's not nothing insulting and what have you but anyway um please like the video um for the algorithm obviously because we need to get those youtube numbers up as well and please subscribe so you can see my future videos and as always guys i will see you in the next one bye guys